Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and this video will be covering the October content schedule, aka the roadmap that's coming out for this month. So all the content that's coming out for Hitman 2, uh, let's show you the schedule. So we have quite a lot of stuff coming out in October actually, and uh, there's, which includes like four escalations, we have two elusive targets, three, no, four challenge packs, featured contracts, and a uh, themed escalation as well. That's literally five escalations, wow. So there's a lot of content, there's a lot of unlocks coming out as well for this particular month of October. So let's go through them one by one. So on the main uh, blog for the October roadmap, it says, the October roadmap for Hitman 2 brings a new Halloween mission and brand new elusive target and more unlocks than ever before. All of this month's content is themed around Halloween from the serial killer elusive target in Whittleton Creek to the return of legacy challenge packs and escalation contracts as well as a new challenge pack and it's all happening in Hitman 2 and you're invited to a full month of content. So on October 3rd, which is uh, just tomorrow, we have uh, an escalation contract in Miami called the Riviera Restoration, which I quite like actually saying that. Riviera Restoration, just rolls off the tongue. But uh, it says the first of this month is an escalation in Miami called Calling Dr. Reaper. So. There's a little picture there uh, showing 47 standing in front of a doctor. So that's taking place in Miami. That's going to be tomorrow. On October the 10th, uh, which is the week later, we have another escalation called the Divine Descendants in Mumbai. And what this is going to do is this is going to unlock the Imperial Classic suit with gloves. So the suit that you have in Miami, and if those people that have been looking forward to the, the suit with the gloves, so they're looking forward to an elusive target in my, Mumbai, Unfortunately, there's not going to be an elusive target in Mumbai to unlock this suit. It's actually going to be unlocked in this particular escalation. So it says, next stop, Mumbai. Get your first unlock this month by completing three three-stage escalation. The Imperial Classic with gloves was previously an elusive target award, but we're making it available to all players because we made the decision not to create an elusive target contract on Mumbai for Hitman 2. I'm not completely sure why that decision is. But it's, it goes on to say, however, this doesn't mean that we won't be having new elusive targets coming your way later this month. And I will get to that. But uh, very, the very next day, which is next Friday, we'll be having another a legacy elusive target. But it's one that people have been asking for. And it's going to be an elusive target in Bangkok. And it's going to be called the Warlord. So if you don't remember her, uh, she's going to be the one with the, the what's it called? The new Obara Machete. She's, she's the owner of that, that uh, knife or sword or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so we have our first chance of unlocking the casual suit with gloves. So that's the suit that you get in, in Bangkok, but with gloves. And it's actually one of my favourite suits from uh, Hitman 2016. So I'm looking forward to getting that suit again. So there's another suit up for grabs. This month's only a, leg a legacy elusive target. October 17th, we have another set of featured contracts. So if you want to see your contract in Hitman 2 for all players to try, then head on over to the dedicated featured contract submission thread to support your contracts, uh, submit your contracts, sorry. Uh, submissions close at 9 a.m. Central European Summertime on October 14th, so get your submissions in before then. So that's the trick or treat global featured contracts being featured this month. So obviously, if you go on the uh, IO Interactive blog, which I'll leave the link in the description of all these notes in the description, and uh, you can click on that and there'll be a link there for you. October 21st, we have another IO, IO Interactive monthly episode uh, which they go in behind the scenes of showing you different stuff and that. So, so the IOI in community team will be back in front of the cameras for a rundown of upcoming content, behind the scenes insight from developers, and maybe a spooky surprise. Be sure to follow us on Twitch or Mixer and be notified the next time we go live. But uh, they usually go live around about 3 p.m. Uh, universal time. So, October 22nd, which is the next day, we have a Halloween themed escalation. It hasn't actually got uh, a name for it, it just says Halloween. It says Halloween comes to Hitman 2 with a themed escalation that promises to challenge all of your expectations. And this permanent addition to the game will also reward players who are brave enough to complete it with two mystery rewards. Now there has been some leaks on uh, Reddit and I think one of the rewards might be the Scarecrow outfit with the pumpkin head. I'm not completely sure if that was a mock-up or if it was an actual genuine thing from the files. If it is, then cool. <laughs> It'd be cool to go around all the maps with a pumpkin on your head. That'd be quite funny. But October 22nd, we have Legacy Challenge Packs making a return uh, to Hitman 2 for the very first time, actually. I think it is. Yeah. 
we haven't had any Legacy Challenge packs before in Hitman 2, but they are bringing three of them back, all on the same day as well. It says, the long awaited return of Legacy Challenge packs comes to Hitman 2 in style. Three Challenge packs, each with their own reward, can be completed by anyone with the Legacy pack. Look out for the modern sedative syringe, a new unlock for Hitman 2 that was only previously available in Hitman bonus mission, which was Landslide. I think uh, in that mission, I think the chef, I think he had the sedative syringe, but now with the new rules, uh, whereas, you know, sedated people or tranked people or accident knockouts, they don't negate your son assassin score. So the sedative syringe can be quite a useful item as well. That's going to be unlocked. That, that sedative syringe is going to be locked with the, uh, what's it called now? The Master Vampire Challenge Pack. That's it. That's in Paris. The next challenge pack we got is the Master Scarecrow Challenge Pack in Colorado. With that, you unlock the TAC 4 SA Jungle. So it's just another assault rifle that's been reskinned, really. I don't think there really was much difference to it. I don't think it was a very good unlock, to be honest, overall. But this is an item that was missing from Hitman 2 completely, and people noticed it quite early as well. Is the Antique Lethal Syringe. We're going to be unlocking that in the Himapan Horror Challenge Pack in Bangkok. So once we've completed those challenge packs, we'll be getting these items as rewards. In terms of me covering the content of these three challenge packs, I don't know because I've already covered these challenge packs in season one. I'm not sure if, if the challenges are going to be any different in Hitman 2, but um, if you want me to cover them, I'll do it. But there's three challenge packs being released on the same day, so it will take me some time to get through all of them because it's like there's usually about four or five challenges each, so that's like 15 challenges. So that's like three videos, so you have to let me know in the comments if you actually want me to do that or if I should just leave the old old videos up because it doesn't really make much of a, not much of a difference. I think in the, what I used to do is separate the videos rather than doing it all in one run. I had them all separate because I wanted to make it more a little bit more structured that better that way, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do. Next up on October 25th, we have our... Uh, a, a brand new Hitman 2 elusive target. She is going to be taking place in Wilton Creek, October 25th, and she's going to be called the Serial Killer. And uh, with this elusive target, because it's the first time we've actually done an elusive target in Wilton Creek, we are actually going to unlock the Suburban suit with the driving gloves. So it's the first time we can have a chance to get this suit unlocked. So let's track down the Serial Killer in Wilton Creek to unlock the Suburban suit with driving gloves, uh, glo gloves and wait until the briefing arrives in the game to get your first intel on the target. So that's October 25th, so moving on to the week after, we have another uh, Legacy Pack um, bundle. It's a Legacy Escalation bundle, and it's got uh, two Escalations in there. It's going to be taking place, one of them is going to be taking place in Hokkaido, the other one's in Sapienza. So the one in Hokkaido is called the Yuma Tenacity. I can't actually remember that one. It's got a picture of uh, 47 dressed as a surgeon uh, looking at the, uh, the pilot for the helicopter, but I still don't remember it too much. Um, and the next one is going to be called the Eccleston Illumination in Sapienza. Again, I'm not too familiar with it. It's showing a bunch of wires in the picture. It says we've handpicked more legacy, uh, more legacy escalations to release, and we think that they match our Halloween theme nicely. And we've chosen some of the most loved escalations to return. Look out for more next month. The difference between these escalations to Hitman 2 escalations is that these are going to have five levels each. But um, again, I'm not sure if I should cover these again or I should just leave it. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you want me to do with that. Because um, I think I've already covered these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I used to do escalations quite a lot. So yeah. Um, next up, we have a another challenge pack, which is on October 31st, which is uh, obviously Halloween day. Uh, it says, shortly after Hawks Bay Anniversary Day, which is a real world, world event, we invite you to the unlock we invite you to unlock the red tie kiwi by completing new challenges in the uninvited challenge pack if you weren't keeping count that takes this month's unlockable rewards to a total of nine so we have nine unlockable rewards again there's two cha two uh, rewards for that uh, particular halloween themed escalation in hawks bay so I'm, I'm guessing one of them might be the outfit i don't know what the second one might be i don't know but so uh, this is called the uninvited hawks bay challenge pack no, it's called Uninvited. It's just in Hawks Bay. That's what it's called. But the red tie kiwi is that little squeaky toy. 
So if you've played Hawks Bay and you've climbed through the window and you've heard the little squeaky toy, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because that's what it looks like anyway. But uh, I don't know, I could be surprised. October 22nd we have game updates as well, which is going to be uh, including all the patch notes and stuff like that, so we're going to have an update for that. So all of that content is coming your way on October 22nd, and we'll have full release notes, maintenance details, and any other necessary info in the site before then. So I'll have one more look at the, uh, the full roadmap and then we can wrap it up. So as you can see on screen there, we've got the Riviera Restoration from Miami on October 3rd. The Divine Descendants in Mumbai October 10th with the Imperial Classic with gloves as an unlock. We have the, the Warlord a Legacy Looser Target for the first chance to get in the casual suit with gloves on October 11th. Featured Contracts on October 17th. October 22nd we have three challenge packs and a, a Halloween themed Escalation with uh, a Sedative Syringe as an unlock, the uh, TAC-4 SA uh, Jungle Assault Rifle. We also have the Antique Lethal Syringe as a reward. We have two Mystery Rewards. We have the Serial Killer Elusive Target October 25th. We have two Legacy Escalations on October 31st and another Challenge Pack on, on October 31st as well. So there's a lot of content there. But for specifically the October 22nd stuff, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's three Challenge Packs there and a th Halloween themed Escalation. I think I'm going to concentrate on the Escalation first. But that is going to do it for this video overall. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments what you're looking forward to the most. And let me know your thoughts on what content I should be covering when it comes to this sort of content. Um, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. I've updated, the, I've updated this month's credits in the on October. Uh, big thank you to Dave there for updating the credits for me. Um, he does all the, the tile design and this is what the graphics you're seeing on screen. Again, big thank you to him. Um, yeah, thank you for everyone that supported me in September. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next escalation. Cheers.